What's up, my beautiful Cancer? Welcome back. It's me, Jose Alfredo Raw. <laughs> Cap Cancer, this is going to be your first message for the month of June. Before I get into your message, Cancer, remember to please go follow me on TikTok, Jose Alfredo underscore Ra. Follow me on Instagram, please, Jose Alfredo Ra, right? So you can see more content from me. You'll see more um, daily horoscope tarot messages. You'll see me doing my karaoke thing. <laughs> so please follow and support. Um, so I added a new oracle deck and a new tarot deck. So, right, I'm going to be giving you the message of Alice and the Alice Wonderland oracle. Very cute. I got it like two weeks ago. And this one. Love the artwork. The mystical manga tarot, right? It's great to have lots of decks because if you actually do um, do readings on a daily basis for like, you know, I make videos for my YouTube, I make videos for TikTok, I do my personal readings, and then I do personal videos for um, people that, you know, basically pay for my service. So... It's very easy to go through these cards very easily, so I like to keep them in a good condition as best as possible and change up the energies. That's why I added new, new, new cards. Plus, we're in June. We're almost in summer, right? So I wanted to change the energy up a little bit. So I hope you like the visuals from these cards. I hope you like the messages that they allow me to bring in. I'm going to be bringing you three oracle messages from the Alice, um, from the Alice Wonderland oracle. And then I'm going to clarify with some um, tarot, okay? So this setup is a little different from the one I normally used to do. So just be mindful and keeping it fresh, okay? I can't do the same thing um, for much longer, you know? So I want to switch it up a little bit. Okay, so this is for cancer. So we have emotion, mental, emotional, and physical, right? So let's see what, me what messages we have here. What's the first one for cancer, please? And I could also do it this way, right? Uh huh. So, what's the first one for Cancer? Uh huh. Okay, just give me a second. Thank you so much. What's the first one for Cancer? Alright, so before we make it clear and precise, thank you. What's the first one for Cancer? Oh, there we go. If we got three, oh no, that's too many. So I'm gonna take the first one. All right, number 40, keeping up. Immense effort, advance. Keeping up. So first of all, with that dark makeup there, she looks a little tired. We have the message of keeping up. Star. My dog loves, well, my mom's dog, slash my sister's dog, loves to just come into the room uninvited. And she's not trustworthy yet, so. Yeah, you. I just let YouTube know you're not trustworthy, little girl. All right, so number 40, keeping it up, immense effort and advance. So, there's time there, right? So it's like, what are you thinking about that you're feeling like it's requiring for you to put a lot of effort into the situation at hand, Okay. And there's like advanced, so there's like some type of an advancement that you're looking forward to. And you don't, you look a little stressed out in this, in this message. So for some of you, I don't know if mentally you're feeling a little stressed out, feeling a little overwhelmed. You feel like there's a lot, like you've been putting a lot of effort into something, but you don't see like advancement. And it's like the clock is like click, 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 how much longer? Click, 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 how much longer? Click, 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 how much longer? All right. Follow your own good advice. Number 10. So... Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. So number 10 talks about, again, we know that's like ending of a cycle. And again, look at this. Pretty consistent energy, right? Girl, the dark makeup. Well, I mean, this is kind of cute because there's some honey tones in there. But you look tired. So emotionally, follow your own good advice. Trust your intuition, Libra. Trust your intuition, right? Trust yourself. You know what is best for you from an emotional point of view. You cannot just be all logical or understand that you have to connect to your intuition 
connect to your emotions, connect to your gut feeling. And the final one, all right. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life, 32. So balance and harmony. Create your own life here in the physical, in the 3D. Look at that. You got rid of the highlights. You took off the makeup, right? And this is you just being more vulnerable, right? Not putting in an armor. Because makeup is like an armor, you know? We allow it, we, it can be used, you know, as glamour. So that you can create some type of like armor for yourself. And it also helps to boost your confidence, you know? But belong to your own dream. Think about that. Take some time. Like, what is it really that you dream of? Like, what is it gonna, that, that it's gonna make you completely happy, right? Create your own life. You have the power to do that. Because it says, trust yourself. You know what is best for you. All right, let's see what we get from the tarot for you, Libra. Okay, so here we go. I like this. Oh, I said Libra. I'm sorry, this is Cancer. So Libra may be around you, or you could have Cancer. Um, you could have Libra in your reading, right? But I also just did a Libra, so that's quite possibly why I said Libra. But for some of you Cancers, there's a Libra energy around you because we have the Ace of Swords, right? So... Immense effort, advancement. There is clarity that's coming your way. There's new knowledge. You're going to be in your power, right? This could be like that Libra and energy, like similar to the Justice, but it's the Ace of Cups. I mean, the Ace of Swords. You got it coming to you. Divine, divine information, like divine clarity. The sword that allows you to be able to speak your truth. The sword that allows you to um, like regain your power. And it says, trust yourself. You know what's best for you. And you're definitely going to be given that epiphany, that aha, like, okay, there we go. That's where it stems from. It's either like an idea or a thought that is going to spark something within you. Okay, so for number 10, what do we have here for Libra? There we go. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Okay, so... Wow, love this. Look at the art. Take a look at that. Okay. So follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. And with the hermit, it just says, you know. You have the wisdom, right? You know that it, what it takes for you to be in your power, for you to understand and have truth. It also takes for you to be able to go within yourself, right? And to assess everything that you're feeling from, an, a, mental, from a mental state, from an emotional um, state, you know what I'm saying? And with the hermit, remember the hermit is like the older, an older, right, version of of the of the magician. So you definitely still have that that wand, right, to create. You have that star energy which connects you to the universe, right, which shows your light, the potential that you have, right, to illuminate, to to be able to tap into source, the universe, and be a beacon of light. With the hermit, some of you just need to like pull back, right? Assess things, take your time, right? Move slowly. Okay, I didn't even have to say it. The Ten of Cups, my love. Cancer, Ten of Cups, happiness, emotional fulfillment. This is what you need to create. This is what you want to create in your life, right? Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. This is your dream, Cancer, right? For some of you, this is your ultimate dream. To have that partner. To have, like, children to take care of, right? Or it doesn't necessarily need to be, like, your children. It could be, like, adopted children, pets, whatever. But emotional fulfillment, a partner, a home, stability, you know, true love, true deep emotional connection. This is what you want to manifest into your reality. Right? Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Why do we have the Ace of Swords here for, our, for Cancer, please? Why do we have the Ace of Swords here for Cancer? Clarify the beautiful Ace of Swords here for Cancer, please. Yep, another sword card, the Six of Swords, right? Yes, and in this one, it's the Divine Feminine all by herself, right? In a body of water, right? 
more emotion energy, right? This is you getting that clarity, right? I also feel like the Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords adds up to the Seven. So there could have been something that happened recently for you, Cancer. That you felt like uh, left you feeling like this is not a good position to be in. For some of you, it feels like quite possibly you could have been in a situation or a connection, right? That wasn't truthful. That you felt like either you needed to move away from it or whoever is the other party in this, right? Moved away but did something that wasn't like truthful. Because you're getting the Ace of Swords, which means you're getting the clarity, you're getting the truth, right? You're getting the power. So somebody tried to do something that was the opposite of that. And now you have the divine guidance that it's time for you to move away to, right? A new day. A new beginning calmer waters right because in here like the darkness is behind you and the light right the light of the sun the light of a new day dawning is upon you so continue moving in that direction right because you've been given the clarity to do so mm, you definitely have to balance a little bit okay why do we have the hermit here there we go three of pentacles and i just finished seeing the two of pentacles so Three of Pentacles, right? Look at this. Building together with people. Love this artwork. Just take it in for a second. Okay. The Hermit. Soon, it will be time for you to come out of that Hermit phase and start working on those new connections. Okay? Because those opportunities are going to be there for you to bring harmony and balance, right? And creativity into these new connections. And some of these could be connections that will... Um, be work related and some of these will be those like interpersonal connections that you have friends, family, lover alright clarify the ten of cups please for Libra sorry I said Libra again but it's actually cancer Libra is heavy on my mind right now or Libra is in your reading and now we have the six of pentacles alright so balance coming in Right? Equal give and take. Look at this. I like this. Supporting the Ten of Cups means that this connection, this dream that you need to manifest of having this, like, this family, right? Um, having this home, right? Having this emotional fulfillment. It will be something that is balanced, right? There won't be where one person is giving more than the other because the six of pentacles with the scales and there's three on each side it shows that it's balanced right so what will be coming to you when you start creating it you're manifesting manifest the harmony manifest the balance and we have a three to a six so the energy is jumping right and then you have the one to the six of the so you have two sixes also on the board so look up number six six because that's a there's going to be a message for you in that All right, Libras, so for some of you, you got the Ace of Swords right now. You have all that clarity that you need. Just take some moment to go within, right, into that Hermit phase. But know that you will have to come out of it and you will have to make sure that you create this, like, harmony um, in the connections because there's going to be new projects coming your way. There's going to be new connections for you to build with people. And trust and believe that they're going to be more balanced and they're gonna those connections will bring you so much more joy than anything that you recently experience that did not okay all right libra so if this resonates for you please feel free to leave a comment below give it a thumbs up right share it with another libra or anyone who has um sorry share it with a cancer libra is all over your reading cancer i mean like i keep saying libra so Again, thank you. Follow me on the other platforms, right? Jose Alfredo underscore Ra for TikTok. Jose Alfredo Ra for Instagram. And I'll see you all next week, Cancer. Take care. Love you.